Hi, I'm Mario with another edition of Lifelines, Safety and Rescue at Sea for Soundings Magazine. Stop me if you heard this before. If you fall into cold water like ice water, you'll be dead from hypothermia in five minutes. Or maybe you've heard, you know you lose 80% of your body heat through your head, so you really have to protect your head. Myths about hypothermia and myths about cold water, I think change the way people prepare for it and how they think these things aren't true. You can't get hypothermic in five minutes, even in icy cold water. You don't lose 80% of your body heat through your head. There are realities to cold water immersion and hypothermia that are important for you to know if you're gonna prepare yourself for them. There's a way to handle being in cold water. There's a way to handle victims who have been in cold water. And that's what we're gonna focus on for the next two weeks. In this first week, I'm gonna to explain to you the four phases of cold water immersion. First is the cold shock response. That's that inspiratory gasp, that big gasping that you do when you first get a good shock of cold. Uh, it's followed by, you know, rapid heart rate, uncontrolled breathing, sometimes uncontrolled movements, um, increased blood pressure. Uh, this phase passes, but if you're not ready for it or if you have previous heart conditions, it can be the last part of cold water immersion you, you suffer because about 20% of the people who die in cold water die in this first couple of minutes. They take on water and drown or uh, they never come back up to the surface. If that gasp happens underwater, that's bad and they may never make it back to the top. So that inspiratory gasp uh, is a killer long before hypothermia. The next phase is cold incapacitation. If you, if you get through the cold shock response phase and you have on flotation, what will happen next is lacking insulation. Your body's gonna make its own and the blood vessels in your arms and legs will shunt and shut down. Uh, and and it, the, your muscles, and, and anyone who's reached into a cooler trying to get out an icy beverage uh, and your hands don't work as well after knows what cold incapacitation is like. But that's all over your entire body. That same function happens. The vessels, uh, blood vessels in your arms and legs shunt and to keep the blood in the core and then you know, their muscles do the contraction and nerves send the signal. When these things get cold, they don't work as well. So, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes into icy cold water immersion, or to even, not forget icy, 50 degree water immersion, cold incapacitation sets in. And if you can't move your arms and legs, you can't swim. That is what kills 50% of the people who die from cold water immersion, die from cold incapacitation. Their arms and legs quit moving and they drown. That's why life jackets and cold water are so important. Only if you have flotation, some form of flotation on, can you possibly get to hypothermia. But that takes 30 minutes or more to become even unconscious from hypothermia. Actually, if you've been in the water for, in a life jacket, cold water for 15 minutes and you've been shivering, you have a fever. Your core temperature is elevated because the shivering and vasoconstriction and shunting of the blood to the core is effective. So hypothermia uh, is one of the killers of cold water immersion, but it's not the most common. That's cold incapacitation. The last danger of cold water immersion is uh, what researchers call circumrescue collapse. For a number of reasons, because your body gets fragile when it gets cold. When you get pulled out of the water, you're fragile. Your heart's ability to speed up and slow down has gone away. That's called heart rate variability. Uh, there's blood pressure drops that occur when you get out of that supporting water. And if your heart can't keep up, you can suffer things like syncope, or you can pass out. You can get ventricular fibrillation or full cardiac arrest. That happens to about 15 to 20% of the people who die from cold water immersion do so after they're rescued. Understanding how these things work uh, uh, is important. One, just to keep you informed and so you quit saying silly things like, you'll be dead in five minutes. Or uh, you lose 80% of your body heat through your head. You know, so you, you quit spouting those things as wisdom that aren't, that you know the truth about cold water. Uh, and these things help you when you're recovering victims, people who've fallen off your boat and know how to take care of them. That's what we'll talk about uh, next week. So thanks for watching this week. Thanks for reading. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next week on another edition of Lifelines.